This is going to be a tutorial on how to embed a YouTube video into a Canvas page, quiz, or assignment. All three of those things behave exactly the same way in that there is an edit window that uh, is kind of like a web page. So I would just think about your home page as a web page, and the same thing goes for a quiz or an assignment. So I'm going to start by adding a new assignment. Um, some people have asked how to embed a YouTube video about uh, Canvas, so I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to create a Canvas 101 page for my, my class's um, Canvas page. So I'm going to call it Canvas 101. So this window right here where my cursor is, is uh, right now in the rich content editor mode, which means that you can type into it just like you can any good old word page. Um, but we uh, are going to actually treat this kind of like a, a web page and we're going to use some basic HTML skills. So I need to switch my screen to the raw HTML editor, which you do by, by clicking on the HTML editor tool right here. And it gets, you'll notice it gets rid of all of the bold, italic, underline, font, uh, font size buttons because you're just going to be inputting raw HTML code into this box. Then you go over to YouTube, and this video right here was created by DCPS to explain to families how we use Canvas. So uh, normally when you share a YouTube video, you click share, and then you copy a website. Um, and you can copy this, uh, this web URL, and you could paste it into the rich content editor, but we want to embed it so that we uh, can see it a little bigger and so that it interacts better with the rest of your web page. Uh, so I'm going to go to share and I'm going to click on embed which pulls up some HTML code and uh, what's really cool about this in case you're using this for instruction is that you can actually choose the start page uh, the start point for the video uh, but I'm just going to leave it to start at the beginning and then I click copy to copy that and I head on back over to my page for my assignment and uh, I'm going to paste that using the shortcut command V to paste it. Uh, and then I am going to click on save so you can see what it looks like once you have embedded it in your page. So now uh, when a student goes to see this, they'll see the YouTube page embedded. The tricky thing to keep in mind is that if you use a YouTube video, any student that has been given a DCPS device will not have access to YouTube videos because it has the filtering software on it, um, but that's how you get it done.